How to beat taxes and inflation? This is the question I've been getting a lot. This is why I'm creating this video because people are asking like, man, Richard, like, uh, what do we do with the economy? Like, uh, people are coming to me. Uh, my clients are coming to me. You know, other businesses are coming to me. Like, my Richard, like, there's the economy is very unstable. Inflation, taxes. How do I win with this? It's just freaking hard. Let me give you some answers. Taxes and inflation. Now, the effect of taxes and inflation on your purchasing power. This is so important for you to understand and do the math here. I'm gonna do the math with you here. Now, when you start getting clarity here, you're gonna be like, oh man, it's gonna hurt you, but then it's gonna be like, man, I, I need to do something about this. It's gonna make you take more responsibility for your money. Here are two examples that I wanna illustrate for you. Example one, if you say $100 at 3%, how much percent? 3%, that's the interest rate. So that means you're plus $3, right? And then you pay tax at 25%. This is putting your, your federal and your state together. That's gonna to be minus 75 cents. First example, you have $100 and you put it into a place where there's 3% interest. Okay, you, you got this so far, right? That's gonna give you $3. So now I have to pay a tax and it's 25% bringing together the states and the federal. So that means I'm paying 75 cents off of that $3. Now, net after tax is now $100. $2.25. But now we have inflation. I put inflation at 3.5% here. Now that's going to be minus $3.50. So where are we at now? So the actual return, if you have $100 and you put it into an account that gives you 3%, what is your actual return when you have taxes and inflation? $98.75, you lose. You put in $100 and because of tax and inflation, what's coming out is $98.75. So you lose, you getting this? And that's at 3%. Most people are putting their money into a bank that's not even giving them 1%. How are you gonna win there? Let's do another equation here. Example two, okay, you have $100. But now instead of 3%, you put it into an account that gives you 5% interest. Now the interest is, this is plus $3. I need to pay the tax at 25%. This is minus $1.25. So a net after tax is now $103.75. Then you got inflation at 3.5% again. So that's minus $3.50. Actual return, $100.25. Now you win. So look at this. You must get about 5% or more of interest rate in order to beat tax and inflation. Ooh, go look at your accounts. Where are you putting your money? Is it getting at least 5%? Because if you do the math, if it's not not 5% or up, you're losing. You are losing money. So this is very sobering. I know it's like, what? Richard, you're what? And most people are working so freaking hard, putting all their time and energy into a, a job and they're putting their money into a bank that's giving them 0.008%. So they're not even on this board. It's crazy. So I want you to begin to think different when it comes to you building your wealth. Let's talk about you saving money now. How can we apply this formula when it comes to your savings? It's hard to build wealth. It's hard to save. I have my bills. I have all these things. I don't have a lot of money to like save or invest. Is it really even worth it? People get stuck. People get discouraged. People get disappointed. People even get depressed when it comes to their finances. Would it really make a difference for you and I to save small amounts, even though we don't have a lot? Like, is it really worth it? Let's do the math. Numbers don't lie. What happens if you save early versus save later. You're gonna see the numbers right here and, and it's gonna make you wanna start saving now, no matter how old you are. Like if you're older, don't wait, start now. If you're younger, even better. See, a lot of times the young people are like, well, I'm still young. I have a lot of years to go, I'll figure that out later. No, if you start to save now, later, you're gonna be able to retire very early because you figured this out now. So if you're younger, don't wait. Even if you don't have a lot of money to save, you're gonna see right now that it adds up when you save a little bit but you're consistent. Watch, check this out. Let's talk about how, why you should save now. Okay, I'm gonna convince you right now. Here is saving early, starting early. So saving $3,600 a year for seven years. This is for the example here. $3,600 a year, so that's $300 a month, $10 a day. For seven years in an account at 8%, tax deferred, you're not getting taxed here, okay? These, there's accounts where you can get six, eight, sometimes even higher, where you're not getting taxed in that, in that money. Okay, there's accounts that do that. If you want information on that, message me and we can talk. Now, let's do the math here. If, I, if I'm starting at 25, this is the age, this is the yearly contribution right here, and then this is what it's gonna add up to at that percent, okay? Remember, it's at 8%. So if I put in three, this year I put 3,600, you see that? So that 8%, it's gonna give me 3,888 that first year. But remember the compound interest is gonna kick in. Second year, 
I put another 3,600. That's another $300 a month for the whole year, right? So now the second year is gonna boost up to $8,087. Okay, now it's starting to, starting to accumulate here. Third year, 12,000. So here's one, two, three, four, five, seven years. 3,600 every year for seven years into an account that gives you 8%. Look what happens here. Even if I stopped, see after the seven year, I stopped paying right here. You see all this is empty. I'm not paying anymore in there. Only the seven years I paid that much and then I can pull back. But my money keeps growing, growing a lot. Look, $128,000 by the time I'm 48. I invested 25,200 into this account. Would you be willing to give me $25,000 if I give you $128,000 back in seven years? This is how you start to generate money. Now, what happens if you, if you wait? Ah, Richard, I'm away, I'm young. You know, I don't need it that much right now. Uh, yeah, I understand about saving, but you know, I just wanna live my life right now and later on, I'll, I'll, I'll worry about that. Look at how much you're gonna lose. Let's say you start later, you're gonna give uh, $3,600, $3,600, but now you're gonna pay for 17 years instead of seven, 17 years at 8%, the same thing, okay? And it's tax, tax deferred again. So look at the numbers here. So again, remember I'm starting later here because you're waiting. If you wait, what is that gonna cost you? So instead of like this guy over here who started early, I didn't do anything here. There is no savings because I'm waiting. Now I'm 31 years old and say, okay, I'm gonna start saving now. So now I start saving $3,600 a month. I mean, a, a year, $300 a month. Now look at the difference. I'm 48 and now I have $131,000 accumulated here. But look at how much I, I contributed. Over here, contributed $25,000. Over here, $61,000. That's over, that's, that's over double. Still a pretty good deal. It's still better than nothing, right? It's still a pretty good deal for me to be like, hey, give me $61,000, $200, and in 17 years, I'll give you $131,000. 17 years, and it's not as much, and you're paying more, but you're still, it's still better than nothing. You're still saving, you're still accumulating, that's good. So again, if you didn't start already early, start now. Start as soon as you can, because you're gonna generate more wealth that way, if the numbers don't lie. So small changes, small changes make big change. You saving, look at $10 a day. $300 a month. Is that gonna really make an impact on your family, on your, on your future? Yes, it can make big impact. Small changes, small savings can create big impact. And now you can already see here from these numbers, the big difference. And look, $300 a month in 30 years, $300 a month at 8% in 30 years will create $447,000. That's almost a half a million dollars. $300 a month, that's $10 a day into an account at 8%. 30 years later, you have a half a million dollars. If you put $600 a month, instead of putting $300, you're gonna save $20 a day instead of 10. And you put it into an account at 8%. Now you're talking about $894,000, 214. That's a lot of money right there generating because you put your money into an account that's accumulated. This is how you grow your wealth, guys. So cut something, cut sodas, Netflix, sweets, gadgets, shopping, eating out, partying, you know, cause look at small changes make big change. So this is how you begin to grow your money. So if you guys are interested, comment below. Otherwise go ahead and check out my other videos. Lots of different topics, like subscribe, comment, you know the deal. Again, I'm Richard Martinez. Bless you.